안녕하세요 여러분, 토니입니다. Hello everyone, this is Tony. Um, kind of early again, <laughs> but uh, today we're actually going to be looking at uh, Everglow's newly released uh, single. Uh, I think it's titled Dun Dun. Probably very wrong on how the pronunciation is, but yeah. Um, this is off their new album, Reminiscence. So um, hopefully we're going to see what it's like. Is it more like Adios, more like Momo Chocola? We'll see. Um, but it's a very anticipated drop um, because, as I said, mentioned earlier in my previous video, Everglow is kind of that new up and coming girl group that everybody's looking at being one of the tops right now. So there's um, them, there's G Idol, there's Luna, and then there's um, Itzy, I think, honestly, in my personal opinion, as being the ones that are coming uh, up and coming and really. Let me just fix the camera a bit. Uh, really. Um, going to take the world, kind of the industry by storm. So um, without further ado guys, this is Everglow, Dun Dun, uh, music video reaction, Jun B, ready? She check! Okay, so Everglow, Dun Dun, music video reaction, we will start in 3, 2, 1, go! Dun Dun. Seems very like, uh, super... The teasers, based on what they see in the teaser, it's a very good song already. You heard the melody. Oh, you did? Okay. Ooh. Ever glow. Okay. The beat's very different from Adios. It's still. We're starting. Oh, this kind of looks like uh, fancy. <laughs> like the beginning with the. Usually, Xi'an doesn't come in. Oh, no, Xi'an comes in quick. Oh, it's very different from Adios, but it's... Oh, okay, there's always the play from <laughs> Oh, my god, they kept the dancers from Adios, though. <laughs> it's it's kind of like their anthem. I like the beat. Very nice. It's very powerful, the dancing. And then, then your outfits are very cool. It's kind of like a bullfight, kind of, remind me. Oh, it's like their bumble chocolate outfit. <laughs> like the red ones. Oh, that's interesting. They haven't done it. They, they don't usually do two rap lines back to back, so it's interesting to have EU and Aisha back to back. But it's pretty cool. Tom's actually more powerful. Again, two oh, Onda actually gets camera time. <laughs> It's a very gadget song. Dun, 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 dun. I think in this song I've heard less Shion and less Mia, which is actually a good thing because in the past I feel like it was heavily Shion and uh, Mia. There's a bit more Aisha and Yu and yeah, Eden, you know. This honestly, where she she on sick solo background looks like a Nyan, like when she's in fancy kind of like the diamond kind of. Don't know what the whole light cage is, but it's very very nicely aesthetically. You know, Mia can dance so. Oh, ever goes in logo. Okay, cool. Well, um. Cool song, I won't get, I'm not gonna lie. It's super nice beat. Uh, what else to say? Um, 
the t- new composition in the very beginning, I think in the past, what was it? It usually is Xion that starts off the song, I think, in the past, like from what I can recall from Bobo Shokola. I think Adio, she starts it off also, but in this one it's Iden, 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 yeah, Iden, who starts it off, followed by Xion, but um, the breakdown of the song itself is very different from what I was expecting because from teasers, I thought it was going to be, you see all these people, kind of like in Adios, you see lots of, lots of like, you think it's like, okay, maybe it's going to be another anthem. It's kind of like that, but it's not exactly like a beat type of anthem. It's more, it has a bit of a Middle Eastern vibe, and it's very interesting how they mix that into like kind of a pop vibe at the same time. Uh, it's definitely the beat, the, for the Dun Dun part, it has a Middle Eastern influence, but I would say that it's still very much in the realm of K-pop, and it sounds, even though it's not what you think of, like, after sitting here in audios, you, you can still see it as kind of a, an Everglow song. It's just that the range is very great now, because you have Bombo Chocolate, which is a bit more girly, uh, cutesy. Um, Adios is very strong and powerful, and this one kind of falls, I think, in the realm of both. It's kind of in the middle of both, where it's, it's still a very powerful song, but you have more of like a softer vibe with the dun dun part, and even I would say apart from the rap, the song itself is a bit softer than Adios, wherever Adios is kind of like just bam 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 bam. Uh, dun dun, I feel like is has the same video style production, which is really cool. It's more of a filmography because like. Like Adios, you're always panning in and out. You're always moving forward and outwards. You're not. You're never actually just standing still. The the camera's never motionly, uh, motionless. So, filmography wise, production wise, apart from the fact that there's a lot of green screen, obviously, it's very nicely done. And even though the green screen is really well done, also in my opinion, um, I don't really see a story behind it. But I wouldn't. I don't really mind it because. From Everglow, it seems like their main focus is to kind of focus on the girls themselves and doing more like the da- the dancing and uh, the dancing this time. There's more solos I feel like, and um, I feel like the girls stand out yeah, actually a bit more this time because, like I said, I mentioned during the video, it seems like the the breakdown is very different from in the song than it used to be. You so you have uh, Iran and uh, Xion starting off the song which is not too too different, it's pretty similar. But then during the rap lines, Aisha and uh, EU rap one back to back, one after another, and then you do have Onda actually kind of getting her own little separate part, which in the past hasn't really been the case. You'd usually have one rapper, and you'd usually have EU and then, or Aisha, and then you'd have the other one later on in the song. So it's kind of cool having both rapping parts back to back because because in the section itself it's a very powerful section the rapping and then like having both one back to back is kind of just reinforces the idea that it's like a very strong section of the song and it's like make it more memorable and then having on the kind of just more present i think in the, in the video and the song makes the song uh, i guess makes it a bit better like more memorable because you you hear a, a different voice a little bit more than compared to when you do, like in Adios, you hear a lot of Mia and Xion, uh, is it Xion? Xion and probably Idan. In this one you hear Idan, obviously, but, but um, yeah, it's a really cool song, guys. Um, I can definitely see it topping, I can definitely, because they, um, they had mentioned that it's a very catchy song, and the dancing itself, dancing-wise, I think that dancing is not as straightforward and easy to follow as adios or bom like i guess as i said before it was it's kind of high energy but simple gestures this one's i feel like falls in between the idea of like the synchronicity of adios and the simplicity of bom like it's reliant on synchronicity but more so how the dancer um pulls off the performance itself so i think it's very much a confidence thing and the song itself is um i think it's a bop i feel like it'll definitely top charts and uh, definitely deserves a production quality again top notch it's very impressive to see what's happened what what they've been doing trying to do going more with film long as i mentioned the song itself um 
very unique with the, the Middle Eastern vibes. Like I, I, I'm noticing a trend that there's quite a few more of those coming up, but they managed to do it uniquely, and the girls, their voice, um, voice is very unique. I would definitely score this to be really, really high up there. Um, and with that, guys, um, that was my review on Everglow's Dun Dun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Maybe not review, reaction. Um, probably going to review G-Friend either next or before this. I don't know when it's going to be up. But yeah, um, stay tuned for more reaction, guys, because there's a lot coming in in the month of February. Crazy amount of life. But uh, Kamsabi, guys, thank you for watching. Until next time, Anyahi Kaseyo. Goodbye. Yes,